Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can get him over to the right. There we go. Oh, look at that, all four tires. Shots fired, shots fired. Hey guys, Benzo here. Welcome back to the channel. We're playing some more LSPDFR, and today we got a brand new callout pack installed called Speedy Pursuit. This thing has got 25 callouts in this particular pack alone. I doubt I'm going to get to every single one of those particular callouts, but we're going to hit the really cool ones nonetheless. Uh, speaking of really cool ones, check out this Dodge Charger, guys. 2018 Dodge Charger. It comes. It's by Ripple. It is a San Andreas Highway Patrol pack, and what I did was I took a livery from another pack and basically put it on this particular vehicle here. And uh, so this turned out really nice. This is probably one of my favorite actual Highway Patrol units of all time. It is by Ripple, and I'll show you the inside of the vehicle in a minute. This thing is phenomenal. Now we do have a new uh, partner. Hey, what is your name there? Trooper what? Trooper Mikey Poo 22 Hey, congrats there, man. He's my next partner. So what I do is I take a random comment generator uh, from TubeBuddy. I highly recommend that program, by the way, especially if you have a YouTube channel. It really is phenomenal how it can grow your YouTube channel. And I'll leave a link for you down in the description down below. And then it generates a comment. So every time you leave a comment, it will actually pick up that comment. So uh, what I do is I pick a winner from a previous video that I did recently. And then it uh, actually picks my next partner. So if you guys would like to be my next partner, all you have to do is comment down below. And if you wouldn't mind, like the video. That would be kind of cool of you to do that. And then it picks my partner for me. So that is going to be Trooper Mikey is what I'm going to call you. That's right. Does that look like you, Mikey? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Uh, I've known Mikey Poo. Uh, I know he's a viewer of mine. Uh, he's been a viewer for a long time now. So it's kind of cool to see him get picked. But let's go ahead and get started with dispatch here. Same, anyone. Dispatch, show me 1041, 10 8. Gonna be riding out with Trooper Mikey. Thank you. Come on in. Okay, so guys, check this out. Holy shit, man. Look at this vehicle. Alright, this is stage one right there. That's uh, got some traffic advisors moving from the right to the left, and nothing going on to the front. And here is stage two. Look at this lighting in this vehicle. It's just ridiculous. And then there's still stage three right there. There we go. Now check out the inside of the vehicle. Come on now. I mean, you cannot get any better than this as far as perfectly lit computer. Holy shit, monkey man. Phenomenal. Hands are directly on the wheel. Looks great. Great partition, everything about it. Really, really good. Okay, let's go ahead and get started, guys. We're gonna go ahead and use Speedy Pursuit and let's see what this is all about. Let's go. Okay, let's flip on our radar system since we're kind of waiting here, waiting for a call from this particular pack. So we're just going to see if we can tag a few vehicles. Oh, there's one. Dispatch responding, code 3. Okay, let's get down there. It's going to be a uh, officer trigger just panic alarm, guys. Let's go. Now, this is a code 99 call. All units are to respond. Uh, check out the lights. They actually change when you change the, uh, the siren tone. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, it's going to be down here to the right. Okay, it should be like right around here. Oh, right there. Yeah. Uh, shots fired, shots fired. Drop the gun! Dispatch be advised, suspects down. We got multiple GSW stage RA just down Procopio Drive. Okay, secure that weapon right there. Good, got it. Okay, he is down. That was a triggered panic alarm right there. Don't worry, I'll cover you. Okay. 
Dispatch, uh, stop all traffic, Procopio Drive. Uh, we got a shooting out here. Okay, traffic is already stopped. Dispatch requesting EMS, Procopio Drive. We got a uh, suspect down. It's going to be a WMA, multiple GSWs, non responsive. Excuse me there, sir. Can you get off the body? <laughs> okay, I'm going to search him real fast. Make sure he doesn't have anything else on him. We got littered with bullets. Small baggie of spice. That's what he had on him. Hey, can you... Can you move here, man? Hey, let's get out of the way. Okay, you know what? I think I might have everybody just leave. That way they kind of just stop honking and stuff, you know? Okay, they're going to tend to him. Now, we did have a little blooper, guys. You know, every episode... Well, maybe not every single episode. We have to have at least one blooper. And I'm sorry, Mikey. Uh, do you notice you look a little bit different than when, you, when we first started the episode? Uh, Trooper Mikey. Uh, stay stay around to the end of the episode, guys. Uh, poor Trooper Mikey. That's all I got to say. <laughs> stick, stick around to the end, guys. It was an accident. It was an accident. Trooper Mikey. He's being, he's being overzealous. Okay, he didn't not survive that. Dispatch requesting CSI, uh, Procopio Drive. Um, there might be a way to do this through Grammar Police, but we'll go ahead and get in some detectives. Why not, right? It would be kind of cool if we can have some detectives called in. They can take pictures and stuff along with CSI. That'd be kind of cool, right? But there's my CSI. Uh, vehicle right there is pretty nice. But I would like to have uh, detectives show up, you know, with uh, any, uh, with no sirens, you know, would be better, obviously. And then just kind of hang around, stay in the background or something. All right, they're going to take him into the back of this particular unit over here. And they're going to load him up. Okay, we got one. Let's see, where's the other detective? Oh, he's just hanging out over there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, he is loaded in. Uh, let's go ahead and search the vehicle as well because we need to find out what's going on with this guy. That That's a cool call right there. That's an awesome call like that. Oh, he had a pencil. Uh, it's like John Wick or something. All right, let's let these detectives leave. And uh, check out this this actual vehicle right here. Now, the officer that was driving this vehicle right here, uh, she is gone. Should have been like a... I don't know, I'm not sure why an officer is responding out here. Uh, maybe the modder could probably change that to maybe a sheriff unit. Would look better, in my opinion. Dispatch requesting a 51 for a Dodge Charger. That's uh, going to be a police unit out here. Go up your drive. All right, we need to confirm this. Uh, we're going to get into a flatbed because it is trashed. Flatbed. Assistance required and Dispatch, clear traffic, pick up your drive. Attention all units, traffic control cleared. Dispatch, uh, show me code four back tonight. All right, let's go there, Trooper Mikey. Okay, let's get back out there. I'm going to do some more of these calls uh, because he's, this, that call right there is pretty phenomenal. I like that panic alarm from another officer. Let's get out there again, guys, and see what else we can get into. So the, the uh, actual call-out pack, uh, it sounds like it should just be a bunch of pursuits. Uh, it does have pursuits, but it has a lot of other calls as well. And I'm going to see if I can trigger at least one of those other calls I uh, hear in just a little bit. Okay, let's head on US Route 1. Maybe we'll shoot a little bit of radar if we need to. We have a possible carjacking. Oh, carjacking outside suburban clothing store on Sonora Freeway. That's right up here, right? Dispatch responding code 3. Respond code 3. It says reporting a carjacking outside the suburban clothing store on Howick Avenue, Alta Los Santos. It's going to be an Infernus code 3 response. Okay, let's go, guys. 
Yeah, we'll go code three on this. See if we can locate this in the furnace. Okay, now, so I'm not sure if it's taking me to the actual uh, scene of the crime. So this is kind of interesting so far. Yeah, let's go ahead and exit off here. But I do believe the suburban store should be like right up here to the right. Okay. Oh, it says carjacker is car. They're evading the authorities. We need to stop the pursuit before it gets out of hand. Okay, so they're right up here, guys. Oh, this is pretty awesome so far. I like this. There he goes. Okay, we're gonna join the pursuit. Dispatch, show me in pursuit. Uh, it's gonna be eastbound Halbuck Avenue. Okay, we're gonna be behind another highway unit. However, I do want to take over primary. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, sorry, bud. <laughs> Dispatch be advised, uh, the primary unit uh, just wrecked out. I uh, needs to get a new driver's license. All right, let's go, guys. Dispatch requesting air unit, uh, northbound Interstate 1. It's gonna be a red in furnace. It's gonna be high speed pursuit. Speed's about 100 miles an hour. He's slowing down, though. Dispatch, be advised. He's slowed down dramatically. We're going about 55 miles an hour uh, eastbound Interstate 1. Okay, we do have other units joining in us. That's This is nice. I like it. Dispatch, be advised. We got a pit maneuver on in this vehicle here. Unsuccessful. Dispatch requesting pit maneuver northbound Interstate 1 on this red and furnace. Okay, let's go into first person view here because it looks kind of cool, right? Okay, we're going to see if we can get this pit on this side. Got him. Uh-uh. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, man. We almost had him, guys. Come on in here. Come on, Mikey. Dispatch, be advised. Uh, unsuccessful pit. Uh, he's still continuing northbound Interstate 1. Okay, we're just going to get some stop, stop sticks if we need to. He's going to try to pit him again. Here he goes. Oh, yeah, that's a good pit. Actually, pretty good, but he's just not successful, you know. All right, let's get over this bridge, and then we will request another pit here. Okay, let's get past this bridge. Okay, this is good enough. Dispatch requesting stop sticks for this red inferno. He's not stopping. Northbound Interstate 1, he's going to be in the first lane. Uh, speed's about 55 miles an hour. Clear traffic. Okay, now I'm going to see if I can get him over to the right. There we go. Oh, look at that. All four tires. Got him. Get down, man. All the way down. Get on your face. Get on your face. Get all the way down on your face, man. Do not move. Stay just like that. LSPD, hands up. Okay, we got him. Give it up. Well, that was kind of a cool move, right? Knocked him into the spike strips. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that before. It's nice. It's a first for me. All right, get back over here. Dispatch, be advised, we got 115. It's going to be an HMA, uh, US, U.S. Route 13. Okay, let's stop all traffic here. Dispatch, stop all traffic, uh, U.S. Route 13, going northbound. Attention all units, officer requesting traffic control. Okay. Grande, 
Let's see if there's anything in this vehicle that he may have dropped in here. Baggie of white pills. Okay. All right, sir. Listen up. Uh, anything's going to poke me, stick me, harm me anyway? First of all, let me get your ID, man. Mark Green. Uh, dispatch request again 27 for a Mark Green 10768. Okay. He doesn't have any kind of warrants or anything like that. Uh, let me go ahead and ask him real fast. Anything illegal I should know about? Well, nope. Even if there was, I ain't gonna tell you. Yeah, okay, so what am I gonna find if I search you? A little bit of Snow White? Yeah, I'm just part of the party pouch, you know. Well, I don't know. Let me patch you down, okay. Nothing's gonna poke me, stick me, harm me anyway, right? Okay. Several small baggies of peyote buttons. What the hell, man? All right, tell you what, let's get him in the back of this unit here. Uh, we used this particular vehicle pack just recently. What is he doing? What are you doing, man? Hey, stay. Stay just like that. Don't get out. I thought he was going to go after somebody else. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get this thing towed away here. Dispatch requesting a 51. It's going to be for this red and furnace involved in the 1080 earlier. U.S. Route 13. Uh, Lights plate number is going to be 63 Edward Young Ocean 172. Uh, it's going to be mile marker 2, right before the 68 exit. Okay, let's do a flatbed because this thing is trashed. Flatbed, assistance required in Grande Sonora Desert. Okay, let's check it for uh, the white pills. Um, I guess we can go with Molly's first just to see what these little white pills are they had in there. Uh, no, LSD maybe? He's acting really weird though. And then, okay, fentanyl. I hate using my bare hands on this. Okay, PCP. Why not PCP? Positive for PCP. Of course it's going to be the last thing I check, right? Alright, so he had some PCP on him and he also had some peyote buttons on him. I'm not very familiar with that to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and do some charges real fast and see what this looks like. Okay, this guy's going to get a lot of charges, okay? So bear with me. I'm going to do a little bit of editing when I do this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say uh, resisting resisting arrest. Uh, he's also going to get a felony uh, attempting to elude LEO. And then he, well, we're going to say reckless careless driving as well. And then we're also going to say uh, robbery or theft. This is going to be Grant the Dotto. Uh, he assaulted the guy whenever he took the vehicle from the from or right outside, or I think it was one of the, uh, the clothing stores or something like that. So we're going to go with just assault. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, aggravated assault on this one. And then he had a Schedule 1 on him, which is the peyote. And then he had a Schedule 2 on him, which is the uh, PCP. And that should do most of that. I know I'm probably missing something, and I apologize. But we're going to go ahead and submit these charges. And then we're getting picked up. Okay, and then we are going to release all traffic and we're going to get back on patrol here. Alright, come on in here. Come on in, Trooper Mikey. Alright, let's get back out there. And uh, one other cool thing too, I said release traffic here. Dispatch clear traffic uh, eastbound US Route 13. All right, it's all clear. So the cool thing about this particular call-out pack is that it's not just all about highway pursu uh, pursuits. When I first saw the pack, I thought it was just going to be nothing but pursuits. That's what I thought. But there's a lot to this call-out pack, and I must say it is pretty interesting. And so we're going to try to do maybe one more call-out in this particular video. And then, like I said, stick around to the end of the video if you want a nice little blooper from Benzo. And it's a true blooper, too, by the way. All right, we're going to head down to Yosha 1, see if we have other cool calls in Plato Bay area. All right, right there, train yard, trespasser. At the train yard, okay. Dispatch responding code 2 over there. Okay, it says, caller states that a person is wandering around the train yard in Plato Bay. Caller uh, fears a tr person may get hit by the train. Uh, it says, call code 2 response. Uh, I think we should probably step this up to code 3. Uh, because he's going to be near a train yard. Uh, 
Okay, now I think I might be able to park over here. Yeah, he's going to be down the train tracks. Yeah, there's a train right there. Dispatch, show me 23 at the train tracks, uh, train yard near US Route 1. Negative. Uh, me and Trooper Mike has got this. Okay, uh, Mikey, poor Trooper Mikey. I know you look different again. I apologize. You're going to stick around to the end of today's video. Some bloopers, guys. We've got some heavy bloopers. I think you guys will enjoy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mikey. I truly am, man. So we got someone wandering around the train yard, train tracks here. Hey, Mikey, man, come on. Down here. Ah, oh, there he is. He's talking on the phone. Looks like he's drunk. Hey, sir. Hey. Hey, it's uh, Trooper Benzo, San Andreas Highway Patrol. What are you doing out here, man? Okay, Mikey, are you off the train tracks this time? <laughs> like I said, stick around to the end of the bloopers. All right, sir. Hey. hey. Can you talk to me for a sec? Uh, yes, I sir. Uh, what are you doing out here? You know, it's a restricted area. It's dangerous out here, right? Uh, uh, don't know. I felt like going on a walk. All right, sir. Are you drunk? Uh, no. All right. So you wouldn't mind if uh, you wouldn't have a problem with the breathalyzer, then, right? Oh. Okay. So you wouldn't mind a breathalyzer? Okay. All right, so here, I'll tell you what, you come with me, okay? Uh, I feel more comfortable if uh, we move down that way. Okay, so your, hey, for your protection and my protection, let me, let me ask for your ID, first of all. I want to find out who I'm talking to. Wait. Okay. All right, can I get your ID? James Watts. Dispatch requesting 27 for a James Watts 33095. Says he also has a concealed handgun license, possibly. All right, we're going to check his status and see if he actually has a concealed handgun license as well. Okay. He doesn't have any warrants or anything like that. Hey, just for your protection, my protection, we're going to patch you down, all right? All right anything illegal on you I should know about? Yes, ah, fuck off. Nah, I lie. I'm going to tell you. All right, what am I going to find if I search you, sir? My wallet, my keys, my phone. All right, then you don't mind if I patch you down, right? You appear to be very intoxicated, sir. All right, turn around. What am I doing? I'm searching him this way? What? Several small baggies of Tylenol with codeine. All right, I don't feel comfortable with him, you know, actually following me because these are some dangerous train tracks. Hey, Mikey, stay close to me, please. All right, we're going to walk down this way, okay? You are definitely something's going on. Hey, Mikey, over here, man. You put your gun away. Over here. Uh, dispatch be advised. Uh, we do have a subject here. We're going to be escorting back to our vehicle. Uh, potential intoxicated person here. Stand by. This call out is amazing, I must say. We don't get any, no call outs on the train tracks like this. I'm going to leave the uh, link for you guys down in the description, but let's get him to our vehicle first. Okay, we got him into our vehicle here. And uh, I want to see if we can maybe do a uh, possible breathalyzer on this guy. Uh, I don't know if it's going to show anything. Hopefully, it will tie really nicely into Stop the Ped. So, uh, let's see. Hey, Mikey. Hey, can you go ahead and give him a breathalyzer? You have your, uh, you have your uh, PBT with you? Uh, yeah, go ahead and do that, Mikey. Trooper Mikey. All right, keep blowing. Blow, sir. Blow. Keep blowing. Stop. 
All right, he was negative. Uh, I, I'm kind of feeling this may not be tied to, you know, to stop the ped, but we'll have uh, Trooper Mikey maybe do a, a breathalyzer, or I'm mean, sorry, a drug swab. And if that doesn't work, I might try one more thing because I'm afraid if I end the call out, he may just vanish. Okay, he's negative. So it doesn't look like it's tied to stop the ped very, very much. He definitely appears to be intoxicated and his speech is very slurred. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the call out because there's nothing else to do with this particular call out. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it and hopefully he doesn't vanish here. Okay, so now the call's ended. So uh, I wonder if now, if, if let's try it one more time, guys. I just for, our, we'll just do a breathalyzer one more time. And he'll face uh, Trooper Mikey better this way. Uh, because the callout's technically ended. I think the reason why he was facing me so much was because the callout was still going on. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be tied to stop the ped. That's one little tiny thing I wish the modder would work on right there. Is He's clearly inebriated, but maybe make him truly inebriated. And maybe show up on the a positive on the BAC, which is the you know blood alcohol content, you know. Say BAL, if you want to call it that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get him a, probably a trespassing, you know, type of thing, you know, around the railway. And uh, he's clearly intoxicated. So we may have to just let him be, I guess. But he, maybe he's just is special, you know, I don't know. <laughs> a couple fries short of a Happy Meal. You feel me on that, right? All right, let's look it up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, charge him with criminal trespassing on, uh, you know, private property. Uh, on the railway, uh, we're going to definitely charge him with at least something like that. And then he did have a Schedule 2 uh, type of possession as well. Possession of uh, basically Tylenol with codeine. And uh, it was a kind of a smaller amount, but we're going to go ahead and charge him with this. I'm not sure why it's a felony per se. Dispatch, I'm okay. You can click cancel all checks. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and do the codeine possession right there. Personally, I feel like that should be like more of a misdemeanor type of thing because it was a smaller amount, but it is what it is at the moment. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit him with this right here. We'll submit these charges. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and place him under arrest as well. All right, sir, listen up. Okay, you're being placed under arrest, okay? For a trespassing, okay, on the railway system. Okay, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford that attorney, will be appointed to you free of charge with the state of San Andreas, okay? You understand your rights? Okay. We're going to get you back over here, okay? Here, look at this. Yep, back over here. All right, have a seat in the back seat of this lovely 2018 Dodge Charger. All right, and also, I do believe you're under the influence, okay? I really do. Come on in, bud. Dispatch, returning station, we got 115. Uh, heading back to Plato. Okay, let's cut this off. We're going to go over here to the Plato Sheriff's Office, and we're going to drop him off. And the cool thing is, uh, we will actually take him into my new Palado Sheriff Station. Uh, most of you guys have seen this, but for those that have not seen this, uh, you guys get to see my new Palado office. And we're going to pop right over here. And uh, this right here, we'll have another deputy probably uncuff him. But uh, let's see, I don't want to park right there. I want to park back over here. Uh, we'll just park right here for now in the handicap spot. Forgive me, guys. <laughs> okay, now this is kind of a cool map mod that we have installed. Come on out. I do need to actually bring him with me because the pathing issue with this particular station I will not work very well. Uh, a lot of you guys said that it should work just like any other station. 
uh, with by letting him go, which means that he'll stay there. But I'm going to show you guys he won't do that. So um, I doubt Trooper Mikey's going to follow me in here. Uh, that's the last time you'll see Trooper Mikey probably. But we'll see if he's still out there when we come out. We're going to take him into our uh, the new Play-Doh station. We do have some jail cells back over here. Sir, you can't even walk. Okay, we're going to put him in here. And you'll see what I'm talking about, guys. If we uh, do right here, uh, I can probably do stay. We'll do that. We'll say release cuffs and stay. Because if I do release cuffs and go, uh, he'll probably walk out of the cell. So this is what we'll do. We'll just do this. We'll take the cuffs off. And then we'll have him stay there. That way it looks a little bit more legit, right? There you go. All right, stay in there. There we go. That'll, that actually looks pretty good. Okay, you can call a lawyer here in a little bit, okay? All right, let's see if Trooper Mikey is still out here. Uh, you guys, you got to watch the bloopers at the end of this video. Uh, let me know, guys, if you watch the bloopers. All right. Uh, court cases. Uh, James Watts, criminal trespassing, public or private, possession of codeine. Uh, I'm going to say maybe... Uh, we, yeah, actually, we need to code for this. Dispatch code four. Attention all units. Code four. No further units required. Dispatch show me 10-7. Uh, we're going to be uh, looking at court cases for YouTube. Thanks. Copy that. Sam, 81. All right. We are busy. Okay. I'm going to say uh, six months. If he gets anything at all. Six months. Ooh, one year. Okay. That's pretty close. Total fine. $653. So, Mark Green. Now, this guy here is going to be interesting. Excessive speeding. Uh, reckless, careless driving. Attempting to elude LEO. Resisting arrest. Uh, Nonviolent on that. Uh, because he didn't get it out and start swinging at us. Possession of mescaline, which is peyote. Possession of PCP. And then Grand Theft Auto. Uh, I'm going to say eight years. That's what I'm going to say. Eight years. Thirteen years. Whew. That's a pretty good lengthy one there. The peyote one was a four-year charge. It's quite a bit. Very interesting. So 13 years total and a total fine of $4,548. That was an interesting one. Okay, guys, my final verdict for a speedy pursuit. Now, this is only the call-outs that we've done so far. That's only three out of the 25 call-outs, guys. They're all over the map, by the way. So we just took the call-outs that would mainly be around Palato Bay and other parts of the northern part of the county. I'm going to give this 4.5 stars out of 5. Uh, it's kind of hard to reach a 5-star rating, you know, completely, because there's always going to be a few bugs here and there. But 4.5 on this particular call-out pack, highly recommend it, called Speedy Pursuit, 25 call-outs. This is an awesome call-out pack. Thank you to the Patreons, guys. I really do appreciate all the side support uh, you've give, given me over the years. I really do appreciate that. You guys are just truly amazing. And thank you guys so much for being a YouTube member slash sponsor in the Benzo Effect channel. You guys are really awesome. You really make uh, the actual channel work the way it is. I really do appreciate you guys. You have a good one, and we'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe. Oh. Son of a bitch. Mikey. <laughs> Damn it. I'm sorry, Mikey. You're my blooper tape, man. Hey, you're on my blooper tape. I'm so sorry. Hey, Mikey. Hey, come on, man. Brush it off. Brush it off. I'm sorry, man. You stepped right in the way, bro. Come on. Hey, Tanisha, set up. Sorry. You don't have to run from the situation, okay? It was an accident. I'm not going to kill you. Oh, this is the stuff that I have to do, okay? We're going to hide him back over here, okay? That way you won't notice. Here, come with me. Come on, Mikey. Oh, <laughs> oh Mikey. I'm sorry, man. Oh, did the other guy get... Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Oh. He died, too. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so he got hit by the train somewhere down there. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching my blooper tape, guys. <laughs>
Y'all are sick. Y'all are sick.